of people that are joining i'm like literally just getting started so i'm still setting up <laughs> i haven't really started yet ignore loud water noises it, i'm literally just about to spray my palette with this uh water if anyone is curious i'm using uh this white knights watercolor palette that i got a couple of weeks ago i was only able to use it once so i'm gonna be using it today and i'm gonna be like testing out this what is it called from cheap joe's kilimanjaro paper um never seen literally anyone test it out before like i've never you know encountered this paper before i bought it at cheap joe's because i went there and then i just grabbed it and left because i got overwhelmed in the store <laughs> Um, so this is what we're going to be painting today. Um, yeah, if you have any que any questions in the comments, um, just let me know. And yeah, we can just sit here and chat. I'm going to clean up this like side palette a little bit over here. You can't see it because it's off screen, but I'm using it. Um, I'm also going to be kind of mixing up the colors I'm going to be using over here. So if you see me fiddling off to the side in this direction, I'm I'm mixing colors. I hope the music isn't too loud. That would be sad. A lot of artists will um God damn, what the fuck's my paper? A lot of artists will like kind of wet the paper before they start i'm not going to be wetting the paper because i want to see how it curls up um like if it curls up if you're a painter you know what i'm talking about so i'm gonna go down with um i'm just gonna cover this the line art in a soft color i think i might go with yellow ochre um and then layer the colors on top of that this is gonna help me figure out uh it's gonna kind of help me figure out how well this paper layers and i'm just talking okay <laughs> yeah like i said don't be afraid to ask questions in the comments one thing you're going to notice while i'm painting is that i can't stay inside the lines to help like if someone held a gun up to held a gun up to my head and said you color inside the lines or i'm gonna kill you and your whole entire family i guess i'm saying goodbye to everybody because i can't do it so if you see me color outside the lines mind your business thank you also my phone is like slightly above my head so i can't see comments as they come in so every once in a while i'm gonna like check the phone to see if i've gotten any new comments to say hello to anyone um but if i don't respond to comments or questions like in the meantime just know it's because i can't see them at the moment i'm using this like very this really like high quality brush that has this like point at the end of it it's really good for like um getting in details and stuff really high quality really nice it's from silver uh um silver brush limited if you're an, a watercolor artist at all you're or not at all i guess if you're a seasoned watercolor artist you'd be like ooh ah but i'm gonna switch to this big cheap brush because it has kind of more of a mop head I don't know if you can see that because I'm not paying attention. Because um, it helps me color cover areas quicker. So yeah. This is cold pressed paper. God damn, it's hot. I'm sorry. I just got, I cannot work when it's hot. <laughs> I have a blanket covering my legs because it was colder earlier, but oh my good lord, it is so hot in my room. And I don't want to turn on the fan because I doubt 
it's gonna sound very nice on live uh have a fan worrying in the background but jesus it is hot um but yeah anyway if you missed it earlier i'm laying down a layer of uh yellow ochre before i start putting the actual colors on the painting so yeah after i do that is when the the layers are gonna go down or when the other colors are gonna go down It's a very light layer, which is why you keep seeing me dip back into the water, because it's kind of like an underpainting, and I don't want this color to shine through unless I want the color to shine through. That doesn't like make any sense, but watercolor is trans is very transparent, as you can see, as I'm literally painting right now. Um, so you can have these sort of layers kind of work to your advantage if you know what you're doing. Um, oh my god. <laughs> don't be like me, I don't know what I'm doing. Once again, I hope this music isn't too loud because I don't know. So, I think it's funny because the last time I went live on TikTok was literally so long ago. And I had like eight viewers maybe at most. <laughs> on average, it was like two, three viewers maybe. And we'd like have like a steady conversation. So I just remembered I did not want to put this color on the hair because the hair is supposed to be white. You know what? Whatever. Anyway, um, I had like a steady like three viewers and I just checked and I have 40 freaking nine. Are you kidding me? Yeah. So I think that's funny. Also, hello, everyone. I can't see who's joining and who's not joining because I'm just not getting those notifications i'm not seeing them when they pop up so hello everyone that joined hi thank you for uh coming to vibe with me while i paint right now i hope you guys enjoy like i want to stream uh painting and drawing way more often i just got the uh the freaking uh 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 what's it called when you like do it from your phone or something like screen i'm just gonna call it screen recording but you can like stream your screen i just got that i just got a notification for that the other day so that's exciting so you guys are gonna probably see me do more uh do more streams from my ipad i'm sorry if that was loud but I need a damn snack while this dries. I can't really go over it while it's wet. And I also don't want to use the hair dryer because that is also loud. Everybody blow on your <laughs> everybody blow on your uh, screen right now. Help this paint dry faster. Where I'm at, it's like 3.40, I think. And I have my blinds open so I could like have a little bit of light without turning on like the big light in my room. But it is like shining right in my face. It was a bad idea. I'm gonna move this out of the way for now um, to let that dry. And I'm gonna start mixing the colors that I want. I'm just gonna get out like a scrap piece of paper for me to test these colors. This works. So hello everyone who's joining. There's like a bunch of people coming in and out very 
constantly so i i <laughs> can't really uh pause i don't know who to say hi to um yeah hi it's ari and braddock 51 and audrey may we're painting we're gonna be painting today or we are painting today i'm wetting the thing so frequently is because i'm working with watercolors that's yeah hi ally heater hi omg hi um so for the for the dress um we're gonna do like a royal purple color um and for her eyes and streaks in her hair because she has streaks in her hair is it dry yet just about um it's gonna be like a greenish color and she's gonna have gold accents everywhere so that's that's what i'm going for right now ah jesus ah! Ah! i hate myself okay <laughs> you guys get to watch me try to clean this up no i'm so stupid oh my gosh that is such a vibrant color i did not mean for that to happen don't talk about me and my crusty my crusty sponge <laughs> Oh my, I am so stupid. Well, it mostly lifted right here. Kind of. Now I just have this... I, brown is the worst random color to have in the background. Like, ew. <laughs> it's just gonna be brown? <laughs> A random brown spot. Uh... Thanks for the uh, compliment, artistic problems. Yes, artistic problems. Anyway, that's as much cleaning as I want to do of that. So we're going to try to do a nice purple. A thing, I kind of forgot that I have a purple, but I want like a more like, like a, just a tad bit pinkish. So there's purple already right here. So I'm going to just go off that. I'm going to come in with a uh, quinacridone lilac. You can't see it, obviously, because it's off camera. Happy Black History Month, pretty AVE. Hi. Okay, purr. Anyway, yeah. Uh, uh, that might be a little bit too pink. But that's what the purple is for. Well, I might add a little bit of blue. I don't know. I kind of want it to be... Oh, that darkened really, really quickly. Okay, never mind. Let's watch. A good purple i'm gonna add a little bit more of the lilac to it see how that goes it's like a pretty wine color right now in the in the thing and i know you like that just barely changed but that that's really nice i think that's gonna be the color i'm gonna go with and I don't know what color that is. I think that's just green. I think I'm just going to go with a plain green color because that's what it's called in the thing. Thank you for the comment, yees. <laughs> I, yeah, I'm just going to shorten it to yees. Yes, maybe even. Okay. One more thing. I'm going to try to um, do a skin color right here. I do like to start with orange as a base for skin. I don't know if that looks very orange, but it is. I promise it's orange. It's a golden deep and cadmium orange I'm dipping into at the same time. My medium is paper, pins, or huge pops for what you do. People don't normally realize how hard. I'm guessing how hard it is to do that, which, thank you so much. I um, I switch back and forth between um, digital and traditional drawings. So if you see me, like, double tap on the paper, mind your business. <laughs> if you see me double tap on the paper, mind your business, it's because I was literally just drawing on my iPad, like, yesterday. So, yeah looks kind of like turmeric or bronze it kind of does when you see it like spread out more probably it will look different 
anyway i'm gonna like warm this up a little bit with i'm gonna go with a cobalt blue and you're like blue or skin tone what are you doing i know what i'm doing leave me alone just a like pinch of blue because if it's more than blue then that's gonna look real real bad You can already tell it's starting to look a little bit more like a darker skin tone. I'm going to come in here with a uh, ruby red. Just a pinch of ruby red. Here we have like a red, like a reddish, a very red undertone kind of skin color. I realized that that's more water than paint in there, so I really need to bring up that concentration so i'm gonna go back in with that golden deep and really no more water no more water so let's see how that looks that looks pretty good but i want it darker because it's it i'm drawing a black person obviously well no that's not obvious because you guys don't know what i'm working on um but yeah, oh, what are you working on? Well, this, I'm working I'm working on this. So right now I'm just mixing up the colors for what I want it to look like. And yeah, yeah. I want to be black. I'm going back in with a, a teensy bit darker blue and brown, uh, burnt umber, to be precise if you care. That is really, really good. I think that might be a little too dark, so I'm going to come back in here with a yellow ochre and try to brighten that up just a teensy bit. Now let's see how that looks. That'll be good with some layering on it, I'm pretty sure. You have to remember watercolor is pretty transparent. So we're not going to go too heavy with the colors. All right. So now we're back to painting the actual thing. Um, I did mix all, this covers up, all these colors over here, but I'm going to go back to my palette because I'm going to kind of blush it a little bit first. I'm going to blah. Coming in with cadmium red light. I'm actually not sure how much I'm going to like that, but we'll see. And going in on areas that I'd like to be blushed. Yeah, I'm having to flatten the paper, so I, I don't like that very much. I don't like paper warping very much. So yeah, just very light colors. I'm gonna wash the brush off and then uh, pick back up some of the colors. Because I want it to be very, very light. Hi, I'm mad. Bunch of numbers. I'm doing okay. It is hot in my room right now. You might hear me complain about it because I don't like the heat. Uh, but yeah, I'm good, man. I think I, I, do, I think I do want it to be a little bit darker. So instead of doing with that that cadmium red light, which is more of an orange, I'm just kind of come in with a, a red. Not very heavy though because uh, she's darker skinned and blush doesn't really show up on darker skin characters that well. Why is the color not picking up onto my brush? What the heck? Okay, whatever. That's fine. Um, but yeah, she's gonna be a, uh, she's a darker skinned character, so the blush isn't gonna pick up on her uh, very much. So I'm gonna also go into the elbows not the elbows excuse me because she has on like long armed gloves but the shoulders excuse me and add blush there obviously real life people don't have blush on their shoulders but it's for a pop of color it's fun i like the way it looks when you just blush parts of the body that aren't necessarily going to be blushing hi how was your day today hi bestie hi everyone thank you so much for coming in thank you so much for commenting i really love it and i appreciate it thank you hi your art is beautiful thank you so much i appreciate that hee <laughs> hee so yeah it's gonna be lightening up and i'm also gonna go in here where the hips are oh my gosh i picked up way too much color anyway where the hips kind of are 
and going to be kind of blushing that area as well. I'm dabbing onto my sponge right now so I don't have a lot of uh, water because I'm just going to be blending it out. I'm also, if you're a watercolor artist, um, and if you don't already, it's very beneficial to work with two cups of water. One for you to wash off your uh, your dirty paintbrush and another one for you to uh, pick up clean water. Um, I mean, I guess you can also do that for like if you're an acrylic artist too, because acrylic is going to dirty up the water way faster than watercolors are. And last but not least, I'm going to kind of put a little bit of blush in the chest area. Just a teensy bit, though. Your art is extremely beautiful. Thank you so much. Thank you. All right, so while that's drying, I'm going to start with, I think I'm going to start with the actual dress first. So got the colors that I mixed up earlier. The character's name, she's an OC. Her name is Olive. I'm not sure if I'm going to go with Olive or Olivia, but that's her name. So I'm going to start with that color we mixed in earlier, that kind of royal-ish purple. Oh, that's a really pretty color. <laughs> hey, Delia? Delia? Hi, can you tell me how to pronounce your name so I can say it properly? Or to pronounce your username. I'm not sure if that's your real name or not, but hi. Happy Black History Month, lovely Cam, period. Yes, happy Black History Month. Um, so with watercolor, it's very important to kind of leave the spaces that you want highlighted kind of blank and that's what i meant earlier if you were here that early because there was only like 40 people here earlier um is you kind of want to keep that area blank for highlights which is why i put in that base color because i don't necessarily want it to be pure white i want it to have some sort of color and when you're working with uh purple uh yellow the yellow that i put down is a really nice like highlight for that i guess because they're aren't purple and yellow complementary colors man i don't know i didn't go to school <laughs> or i didn't go to college like yes i should know the color wheel but leave me alone your art inspires me i love doing art but i'm bad should i continue trying yes yes you should continue drawing i was not always a good artist no one starts out a good artist like mm, no my, my art was never well not never what am I talking about? My art wasn't always good. If you want to keep drawing, absolutely. Please keep drawing. <laughs> I absolutely encourage it. You just have to practice. That's all. Thank you for the rose, GK Carries. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for the roses, guys. OMG! Thank you so much for the roses recovery is. I'm not quite sure. Well, it didn't show me the full username on my screen, so I, I'm not sure what the rest said. But thank you so much. I appreciate that so much. But yeah, just like I said, I'm going to darken this color up probably. Or maybe I'm just going to darken it in the corners. I don't know. If I go silent, um, don't bully me. I don't have anything to talk about. <laughs> I 
And also, I go silent because I'm trying to get these lines crisp. I'm trying to get it crispy. I failed up here because I forgot that area was still wet, but like, ignore it. <laughs> this color in the back, um, I'm going to go in with uh, a darker color as well as you're going to see me go in with that darker color like on the sides of the dress to darken up those areas. So right now, I'm, I am going to leave it blank. Oh, why did I do that side first? Because I'm going to have to put my hand right there. Am I like stupid or something? Okay. I'm very accident prone. <laughs> okay, that's good. That was good. Um, oh, do I have to scoot this up so you can see it more? I just looked over at my thing again. So sorry if I didn't see you when you came in before. I, I, I was not paying attention. Hi, Anna Nana. Hi, Anna Nana. Hi, Clariah. Clara. Clara. Hi, Clara. I'm gonna call you Clara, unless you you can you can correct me. But hi, Clara. what's your name my name uh you can just call me wacko melon that's my username or you can call me wacko i don't mind um but i prefer to be called by my username that looks nice thank you so much thanks for thanks so much for the inspiration thank you so much i heart myla um thank you oh i did say i was just gonna leave that area blank didn't i mm. i don't listen to myself now i'm gonna go in with the top because the top is also going to be purple and because i want to let this area dry because i already freaking messed it up with my palm over here just like i said i was scared to do oh my gosh i'm gonna do the same thing again where i kind of like keep an area kind of lighter for highlight purposes There we go. Hi, Grecamoli. What are you doing here? Get out! Get out! That's why you're not answering my messages. <laughs> Leave me alone. I'm trying to be the most famous TikToker ever. Leave me alone. I'll get back to you, shorty. Um, hi Jalen Scott 12, you're so good at art. Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> Don't roll your eyes at me. Hi Sergio too. Hi uh Link. I'm gonna turn that to Link because I'm trying to I gotta get back to this while it's still wet. But hello. Too good for me now, I <laughs> I guess. Leave me alone. <laughs> Oh, this color is kind of, like, granulating. I like it, actually. I'm not always a fan, but sometimes I like it. It looks great. It looks great, though. Thank you! Thank you! Hello, my family calls calls you Jay. Can I call you Jay, too? Or JJ. messed up there but like that's probably going to be called it color up these accents are supposed to be gold but i'm not sure if i'm gonna actually try to paint it so that it looks like it's gold or if i'm just gonna go in with like gold paint or gold pen or something i don't know did you call me link i'm gonna guess that says call me link yeah i called you link because uh you have link in the back of your username and i couldn't stare at the screen for uh long enough to try to pronounce the rest of your username i'm sorry 
That's my fault. So then now we're gonna do this centerpiece purple. And then after the dress, I think I might go in and try to do the green parts or should I do the skin? I don't know. I might just let it dry and do the skin. I love it. My real name is Jay. Oh, cool. I just said that because it was in your username. Or, oh wait, no. Oh my gosh, you're a completely different person. Am I stupid? <laughs> I love my real name is Jay. It was a different person who had, my family calls me JJ in their name. So, yeah. Sorry for mixing you up with that other person. I didn't mean to, I swear. Should I answer that? Should you answer what? What are you answering? Also, don't bully me for being mean to that person. I'm literally their friend. <laughs> Should you answer what? What are you answering? Oh my gosh, my hands are shaking. I forgot to have a complete balanced meal before I started this. So... I think I'm gonna eat some of these cheeses while I wait for this paint to dry so I can keep going. And I'm gonna go back over the spot that I messed up with my palm over here. That's good enough. gonna try to attempt to clean up this smudge I've noticed that this paper doesn't lift very well with uh, um, just like more full paints so yep that's staying there I'm just gonna cover that up at the end How do you do this so perfect, OMG? Um, eh, I don't know about perfect. <laughs> There's literally like so many points of mistakes and where I just am being a little goober, um, like here even, and that one's like so obvious, but thank you. Um, gotta eat something more than chips. Mukbang for next live. No, I'd rather die than have people watch me eat on camera. But y'all can hear me crunch. My my sister, big sister, is so mean. I'm sorry. I won't be mean to you. Unless you're mean. Then yeah, I'll be mean to you. <laughs> it's perfect. No, oh, thank you then perish man your mama okay is it dry enough to start painting again touching it with your bare hands is not a good way to test to see if your painting is dry so don't um don't do that <laughs> it keeps blocking my words good good your mama yo mama <laughs> hey do you know macy um i don't know who that is so no i guess i don't know who macy is i have the only light source that's in my room right now is um 
is uh, my light poking through the blinds. So if it gets too dark because the sun's setting, just let me know. I'll go turn on the big light. Okay, I think it's dry enough to start painting the skin now. So I'm going to go in with that color that I mixed earlier. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you are being weird. Oh, Aspen. Oh, wait, hold on. Wait. Do you want to be my moderator? And you can just, like, delete weird comments? I think you can. Do you want to be my moderator? You're going to be my moderator anyway. <laughs> You're moderated now. You can d delete weird comments. Like, people asking me... Uh, <laughs> weird questions so go crazy <laughs> okay so as i was saying earlier i'm gonna go in with that skin color that i mixed earlier and just go crazy i'm gonna be taking the same principle uh, i did for the dress so i'm gonna be leaving areas that i want blank just blank so that highlight on the nose, I'm just not going to paint anything in there. And that's where that the, the yellowish uh, underpainting comes in. It's for stuff like that. <sighs> Sorry I go so quiet when I'm trying to do these tight curves in the painting, but oh man... These areas are small, and I gotta focus. I wish I can be you. My, why be me when you can be someone cooler? Like, I know I'm hella cool, but be you, baby. Don't be me. What am I doing? Okay, yeah. So I'm gonna try to figure out how I can do this area right here. You guys are gonna watch some crazy maneuvers. Or I'm gonna try to do a crazy maneuver. So I'm only gonna paint this in and then I'm gonna come back when that paint is semi-dry and try to uh, to do the other side, but it's gonna be like a cool little thing to make it look like it's mega detailed. So I'm gonna come on up here. Paint that in. And since I didn't get to show this part on the video of me reviewing the watercolors that I'm using now, then maybe I can show you here. Maybe I can show you here. Psst. My phone's dying. I need to put it on the charger. Hold up. Mm, boink. Here we go. Is it charging? Yeah, cool. Okay, now you can keep going. Where am I? Oh, here I am. come in with darker colors in places where it needs to be colored in. Time for another snack break. I love the dress color. Thank you! This girl has been through so many freaking redesigns. I can't can't even count at this point but thank you
I think I'm actually gonna try to leave this spot like a big highlight in itself. So what I'm gonna try to do is just go in with just plain water and kind of just yeah. is just going with just plain water and kind of just yeah like that pick some of that extra water i just put down up Can you add some gold paint? Well, I'm gonna try to, I'm trying to figure out if I wanna do um, a gold paint situation. I actually don't like the way that looks. Um, a gold plate, gold paint situation or painting it to look like gold. It probably won't matter since this is in a sketchbook anyway. So I might go in with gold paint if I get lazy towards the end. High school replay to five six. Hello. All right, now I'm gonna try to do that stomach thing that I was talking about earlier to make it kind of defined. Why wow, you're really good at drawing? Thank you so much. Thank you. I appreciate that. Uh, let's see what was I doing oh the stomach oh my god I was literally just talking about that right, now I'm gonna try to put as much pigment as I can right here and then pick it back up with a dry brush or spread it around with a dry brush so that it gets that like defined uh, at least a bit a bit defined stomach area mm. that's good enough so far i'm really appreciating this paper i don't mind it love this looks amazing thank you so much thank you guys the compliments really mean a lot to me it really truly does what am I doing now? Oh my gosh. It's the fun part. The boobs. How am I going to try to do this? Okay, I think I'm going to leave a highlight right there. And put as much pigment as I can at the bottom. And then leave that top area kind of light. Just like that. And then I'm gonna do the same thing I did with the stomach area and kind of dry brush the rest, give the illusion of some sort of shading and light source. Oh, good enough. We love your art. You're the best. Thank you. Thank you. Y'all gonna give me a big head. <laughs> Thank you. Where's my water? All right. This should be good enough for the green now. What is this color? Is this the green? Yes, yes it is. Whoops! I definitely meant to have a darker green than that because that light green just looks kind of silly, but I'll fix it. This will just be the, the first layer, I guess. Well, I guess it won't look so bad because the purple isn't as dark as the purple is anyway, like for the actual purple color. So maybe it won't look so bad when it's finished, but if it does end up looking crazy, I will, I'll fix it.
You should add some green to her hair. Uh, yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. It's not done yet. I'm still in the process of painting. Uh, she she already has a um. Uh, she already has like a design that I'm going off of, and she does have green streaks in her hair. Originally, they were purple, and the dress was green. Um, and like her accents were purple, so her like her eyes, her hair streak, this little gem here was purple, but. I decided to switch around because having the main color be purple looked a lot better when I was doing it digitally. So yeah. Oh, I don't remember if her gloves were green or purple. Hold up. Oh, wait, I should probably finish painting this first. Okay, let me check if her gloves are green or purple. Oh, her gloves are purple, and her both her dress and the boots were a lot darker. Mm, oh, well. <laughs> Oops. Um, But yeah, I'm gonna fix that. Now I get to go back in. Her gloves are actually a slighter, darker purple than her outfit but that's okay i'm just gonna leave it as the same purple this is so awesome you are so great at it love your art thank you so much guys oh Can you show us the colors you'll be using? Yeah, um, so these are the main colors that I'm gonna be using. Um, so it's gonna be this purple, this green. I have them, the colors that I'm using right now are just these three colors. These are from the last painting that I did. I'm just too lazy to <laughs> clean off my thing if I don't need to do it immediately. The um, palette that I'm using, I don't know if that's what you were asking about, is this, um, watercolor set that I just got the Russian White Knights watercolor set um yeah so those are the colors that I'm gonna be using the mixed colors I have in this palette um and the uh and the plain colors that I'm picking up is just gonna be from it's just gonna be from that palette so yeah those are the colors that I'm using and I'm might be using a gold paint later on if I end up using that gold paint gold paint excuse me then I'll show you that as well because it's in a different palette. And then just blocking out the edges again. And yeah, I'm leaving this blank because, um, to give the illusion of like a light source. So yeah. Does she have a name? Yes, her name is, uh, Olive or Olivia. I'm still deciding on whether I like Olive or Olivia. Last name is pending. I don't know what to give her as a last name. So I'm just, right now I'm just letting this dry and then thinking over what I'm going to do for the rest of this. Um, oh my gosh, why did no one tell me I forgot to color in her ear? You guys are being irresponsible, still deciding how, mind you, your business. <laughs> I'm not deciding on the colors, I'm just deciding on how to go about, about it so I don't end up smudging the paper again. But yeah, I think I am actually going to make these, um, the dress and the boots darker because this is very much giving alligator. I don't know what it is, but that particular green, I'm just not vibing with. Let's see. 
I'm gonna go back with this sprayer and re-wet my paints. So I'm about to go back dipping in the actual palette. gonna oh should i darken the dress first or the i'll do the the boots first and just have this like i'm mixing colors right now so if you see my hands moving a lot it's because i'm mixing colors and like a little bit of blue i think to warm this color up so it's not like a like a yellowish green i want it to be warmer i'm gonna do Mm. It's like Indian blue color. Oh, that might have been too much. Oh well. Ooh, yeah, that looks good. Now let's swatch. Oh yeah, see that's the color that's closer to the digital color. I am gonna warm it up a little bit more with that blue color and then we're gonna change your boot to this green what do moderators do uh they basically just filter through some of the the stinky comments at least i'm pretty sure i don't know i haven't gone on live since uh 2020 <laughs> oh yeah I do like that a lot better, but that does mean I, I am going to have to come back in and darken the purple as well. But yeah, mods do what they do on pretty much anything, like Twitch and Discord and stuff. I do, I, I, I am really warming up to this paper, like it warps a lot but it's not terrible but it's taking colors a lot better than the Canson um Montval sketchbook that I have I I hate that one so I like this one a lot a lot better it sucks though because I have like more than half of the paper to fill up and I don't like wasting stuff whether it be art supplies or whatever so I am going to have to sludge through that sketchbook, but I really like this one so far. So yeah, this is a recommend. If anyone missed it, it was the um, Kilimanjaro cold press sketchbook. I got it from Cheap Joe's. I think that might be the only place you can get it. If I'm like, I don't know if I'm tripping, but yeah. That's a way nicer green than the green that was here previously. Okay, yeah, that looks way better. So I'm gonna darken up that purple and make it, uh, bring it more homogenous towards the, the green. But I'm gonna have to wait for that to dry. So I think I'm gonna start on the eyes, since her eyes are green. I might as well, since I already have the paint on my paintbrush and her gem, because her gem is green too. If you notice, I'm only, uh, I only have a, uh, only colored in part of the eyes and part of the gem that's because i'm going to go in with a yellow um to kind of blend it out and like have it more of a of like a oh damn i can't get my words right to to give it dimension i guess the same thing you would do with digital art And then I'm going to blend it out. Mm. 
and then just blend up that yellow that I just put in. I'm doing, I'm, uh, what I'm doing is cleaning off the brush in between strokes, so I'm not bringing the blue down, I'm only bringing the yellow up. Or the green down, I'm not bringing the green down, I'm only bringing the yellow up. Let's blend that out a peach more. And then, yeah, I'm gonna let that dry before I do anything else to it. That green is still drying, so I might start with the highlights. Not the highlights, excuse me, the, uh... Oh, wait, no, actually, yeah. I am gonna, uh... I am gonna try to do some highlights on her hair. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in with a mix of violet and a mix of blue. Um, and I'm gonna like water that down heavy. I'm gonna really heavily water that down so it kind of looks like a gray but with uh, a pop more color and do some highlights on her hair. So it still gets across that her hair is supposed to be white since I accidentally colored it um, with that undertone that under painting that I did with the yellow so yeah let's fix that oh yeah see that helps a lot to kind of neutralize that color back I'm gonna leave space for highlight right there and then bring that color down hope it looks like it does IRL as it does on camera because if not then uh, then, yeah. And then, yeah, I'm sorry, I just blanked. <laughs> I just blanked, so forgive me. You should name her Aya, Ava, or Eve, maybe. Hmm. I'll consider it, but I, I really like the name Olive or Olivia. And for the for why I named her that. I, her, her name is Eve for a reason. Eve? Her name is Olivia for a reason. Damn, I'm stupid. Hey, I need two anime characters for an edit. Um edit uh, any particular animes that you're trying to edit I keep doing things backwards so my hand my hand is like practically off the page so I don't smudge the paint that I just put down And come over here. Nope, any anime. Um, then do <laughs> do do one of those um verses uh things that I keep seeing pop up on my for you page. You know the ones where it, like it spins a circle and then it does like two characters from any uh like from any anime or a show in general and like pit them against each other you should do one of those with like reagan from mob psycho and uh and i don't know jotaro fujo <laughs> so the those are the those are the two characters uh reagan mob psycho jotaro jotaro's bizarre adventure I'm gonna eat my snack while my paint continues to dry. Elf babe. She is an elf babe. With a hip like pow. Oh, with a hip like pow.
Aaron Yell Dog. Yup, that's his name if I remember correctly. Alright, I think this paint is dry enough for me to start to darken that purple. So I'm coming back in with a violet and ultramarine violet and a little bit of quinacrinone violet. Excuse me, quinacrinone lilac. I'm just going to be darkening up her dress. I'm not going to start with this side. Oh, I didn't even swatch this color. Whoops. Oh, well, it, it looks good. I would like it to be just like a smidge warmer, but it's good. And then I might end up darkening the back of her dress with a bluer, or the inside of her dress, excuse me, with a bluer or a... Uh, like a blue or just a really dark violet or a mix of the two. I'm afraid of painting traditionally. That's why I paint digitally. I can fix my mistakes. Oh, yeah. I mean, like, both digital and traditional art definitely has their, like, perks, like their uh, um, pros and cons. But uh, I am a digital artist. If you've been on my page, you'd know that. Um, and it, woo! that tone uh i didn't mean it like if you'd been on my page you know that like ew i just mean like you know that's what i'm most known for i think is digital art since i do all those skits and stuff um but i i do love watercolor painting if i could like paint 24 7 you'd absolutely catch me painting 24 7 <laughs> And here we go, going back in with the chest piece. Just darkening that up. And then gonna uh, darken these parts over here and the sleeve. And then I still have to do the streaks in her hair. And I think I actually am going to go in with like a gold paint or a gold marker. Um, I might actually just do the paint because the paint is more reflective than the pen, I've noticed. Because I did um, them all swatched together. And I think I'm going to go in with the paint. But then I have to bring out my like teeny, 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 tiny paint brushes. Because Zooey Mama is going to be a tough one. I never really use watercolor. Is it better than markers? Um, the, I feel like I'm not quite sure if it would be like the same thing to like compare to. Because you can, if you use markers, because I use alcohol markers as well. I haven't used them in a really long time, but they're literally like all right there. Not all of them because I have a ton more in my drawer. Um. Uh, I wouldn't really know if I compared it to two. Um, obviously, markers are going to be a lot more permanent. They're going to be a lot more saturated than watercolors because watercolors are really transparent. It all depends on like what you end up getting a feel for. Uh, and yeah, I think it it's definitely worth it to branch out, stretch out with your mediums if you have the chance. Um, and yeah, if you're starting with markers... The marker brand that I recommend is Ohuhu, Ohuhu Markers. I love those. Love of my life. You can see from when I just panned up that I have Ohuhus and I have Copic Markers. Um, I feel like they're really, really comparable. And if you could get Ohuhu Markers, which are like for like so much cheaper than Copics, get the Ohuhu Markers. You can get them on Amazon. You can get them directly on their website. Yeah. I recommend those. If you're doing watercolors, 
I guess I would start with um I guess I would start with maybe the Winsor and Newton Cotman watercolor set. If you're not um like not wanting to do it professionally, then yeah, cuz the the they're cheaper than going out and just buying a bunch of tubes of watercolor or starting with the professional watercolors just get those get something with um the essential colors and a small amount of colors so you know how to mix your colors properly um and yeah so they're definitely two different mediums that i wouldn't necessarily compare them all that much to each other um but i i like watercolors at this point more than i like uh markers and when waves for a bit it used to be that i really liked um drawing with markers after i had been painting for a while but at this point i prefer uh prefer watercolors watercolors over markers and over digital drawing so yeah that's why i ranked the three i know no one asked for that asked for that tangent but i gave it to you I asked, I asked this when you first made it, but I'm asking again, does she need to do yeah. Hell yeah. It took so much. Oh my god. Thank you for the roses, uh, XX Ramen. I couldn't see the, the rest of the username because it... Oh, there you are. Thanks for the roses, XX Ramen Leah. Thank you so much. Those are super appreciated. Like, <laughs> honestly, they are. Was I saying anything before that? Whoops. I forgot. I already forgot. Whoop. Trying my best to keep these, um, to keep these highlighted areas while I'm darkening up and also trying not to like push them into other areas because oh man what I have learned once again is it is hard to draw and talk at the same time or to paint and talk at the same time didn't I just say I didn't want to do that and look I did it did I darken this up already oh, I don't remember oh well have a good day. Thank you. Thank you so much. You too. You have a good day as well. I'm going to... I was just going to do it with a darker purple to kind of um, darken up the areas that need to be shaded. But I think I'm going to do it with whatever color that I'm using back here to shade. Since I have to darken this up already. How long have I been streaming already? It feels like forever. It's 4.41. I think I might have started streaming somewhere around 3.30. One hour isn't that bad. And it's not a bad time to be spending on this painting either. I feel like I'm exactly where I should be. So cool. I am running out of the color that I just mixed for this though. And my problem with that is if I try to mix it again, it's not going to be the same color. But let's try. Okay. Just brought those three colors back down. I'm not even going to swatch it. I'm just going to come back in. Yep. It's way darker. It's way darker. Whoops. Oh, well. So I'm like, it's, it's in a sketchbook, so I'm not going to beat myself up for it. If it were on my arches paper, though, oh, hell no. And then... Oh. 
Oh yeah, that's a really different color. <laughs> Whoopsie. Oh, you know what? That's pretty though, because now that area looks like it kind of has a little bit of a highlight on it if I just leave it blank like that. Very good. Very, very good. All right. Whoops. I just swished my water in the wrong thing. So now I'm going to do the green highlights on her hair now. And then do this back area and then add the gold. Which I should go ahead and get out and wet. Because these paints, if you've ever used these solid paints before, I have it in all toy tin. It's older than Jesus Christ. This thing is so old. Um, so yeah, it is kind of beat up. Uh, but if you've ever used these paints before, you know, they, they, they need to be wet for a, a real long time before you get any good, good solid colors out of them. So I'm going to go ahead and wet those now, then do the highlights in her hair. I keep calling them highlights. I mean streaks. Just a few here and there. I'm not going to go crazy. And then, what? I just touched the head of my paintbrush like a fool. I need more of the green than I was just painting with too, so I'm gonna go back over there. And then it's not gonna be the same green because I didn't bother to mix it again, but like whatever. Ooh! That is hard. Trying to get that in one straight shot. It's hard. And then go into the other strand of hair because it's going to be a thicker highlight I forgot where her highlights on her hair are but it's okay it's blowing in the wind it's not going to be accurate anyway here we go and then another one here it's going to be a bit longer she does have some variation in her streaks on her hair. She looks like a peppermint. If they were green. And then some shorter ones here. Just to give it a teensy bit more variation. I did it again. I'm sick of it. I've had enough. No, that's not coming up either. The one thing I, I did notice that I'm not quite sure about is that paints are hard as crap to lift, up, to lift off this paper. And I don't know if it's a brand of paint that I'm using or if it's the paper, but yeah. I've only used this brand of paint once before. So at this point, I have no idea. But Also, I was complaining earlier that the paper was doing a lot of uh, lifting, kind of like warping i guess when i painted on it but now that i've painted on it for a lot longer it's kind of flattened down so that's that's a that's a plus uh what am i doing now i just realized that there's this teeny teeny space in between her fingers where the dress is peeking from under it and i did not color that in i'm gonna do that real quick All right, now let's mix the color that we're gonna be doing down here. I'm gonna start with this blue color, a really nice dark blue. The color that I'm mixing is literally just called blue, so. And then I'm gonna go in with this violet here and get it really, really dark. And I kind of wish I had a Payne's Gray to kind of mix in with these two. But I don't. Um, and I'm going to pick up a teensy bit of quinacridone rose so that we can kind of 
make it a little bit redder because it is on the on the blue side right now because I added a bit too much blue. Oh yeah, I added a crazy amount of blue there. Let's just swatch this color and see where we are. Mm, yeah, that's a lot more blue than it is red. So I'm going to add so a pinch of quinacridone lilac. Not enough to make the color lighter, but just to make it a pinch more red. So I don't want this color to be lighter, obviously, because it's going to be a, a shading color. That's a bit better, although I still have some right on the brush, but I'm just going to mix that out a little bit more. And there we go. I'm going to just come right into the inside here. Make it nice and dark. And then go in on the other side. Oh well, I was just gonna skip over this little area. In a minute, I'm probably going to prop up the painting and change my camera angle um, so that I can go in with the gold paints. Uh, so if my like setup shakes a whole lot, that's why. Because this thing will shake at the at a touch. Um, so yeah, just a heads up in case anyone's motion sick or something. I guess I don't know. I'm gonna pick up a little bit of this color because it kind of bled onto the boot a little bit. If I even can, because I literally just talked about how it's hard to pick up this color. Oh well. I want this to be a bit darker, so I'm gonna go straight in with the violet. Hi, Hannah Cupcake. Hi, the art of DHT. Hello. Thanks for joining. Um, yeah, here we go come in a little bit with that violet darken up the outer edge where the the outer edge of the inside part just blend that out a little bit with the paint that's still a bit wet and then darken up the areas that need to be darkened on the outside of the dress like these corners where the dress is layered. Coming with a somewhat higher concentration of paint and then I'm gonna blend it out a bit with the water. Just like that. Just a little bit. I don't want it to go all over the place because it's supposed to be in one spot. And then before I do this one, I'm going to come in and kind of do the stomach area. Because I want her to have this like pouch kind of. This dress is, is, the dress is form fitting on the top part. So I want it to be shown that it is form fitting on the, t on the higher part, even if it's only just the bottom part of the torso before it flows out into the legs so I'm gonna just blend that out with water and yeah there we go so it's pretty obvious that it's a bit more form-fitting and then actually yeah before I <laughs> I'm just scared to smudge the drawing again I'm gonna do the arm here and this arm here and just a pinch on the sides I guess and then blend that out with water as well just like I did with the bottom part of the dress if you hear excessive swishing my bad 
just blend that out. And there we go. You draw so good. Thank you so much, noodle girl. I appreciate it. Oh, whoops. I forgot this arm. Whoopsie. All right, and then do this last corner over here. Then I'm going to come in with the gold and then going to finish it off with a white pen. And then you guys can see my recommendations for a white pen. If you're an artist, if you don't care, then you're going to see it anyway. <laughs> I guess because <laughs> I'm an artist and I want to share it with you okay so I think that's all I'm gonna do as far as shading on the dress now once again warning for the um, the camera shaking because here's where I'm gonna prop it up and I'm gonna move this palette out of the way and bring in that gold palette I was talking about earlier. And then, don't judge me, the thing I use to pop up my drawings is my laptop cooler. But it rises, so like, that's pretty, pretty neat. To move all of these junk out of the way. Hi, Willow. Hi, Mama. It's my dog. Wee low. Okay, that's a bit better. Move it back over here some so I can still see what I'm doing. I want to bring it lower. That's good, right? Is that good, y'all? Well, it's going to be a while before I know anyway, so I'm going to just assume that it's good. And I'm coming with these paints. They've been sitting in the water for a good bit. Let me get out my teeny tiny paintbrush. If I can find it. Okay, yeah. Not my tiniest paintbrush, but I'm going to bring out this the second smallest paintbrush that I have. And then... Oh, actually, you know what? Let's swatch the gold accents. This is going to be the back of the paper. So, yeah, if it looks kind of crazy, it's because it's the back of the paper. Just to figure out which gold I might want to do. That's too red. That's a really good gold. I think I might end up going with a gold that's a pinch lighter than that one. So I think I might end up going with this gold. Yeah, that's good gold. All right, but I don't want to go any lighter than that. So this is the gold that we're going with. Kind of a more standard gold, I guess. It's a good gold, what can I say? I'm gonna really pack this gold onto my paintbrush here. So I'm like, I'm literally going crazy in this thing. And then gonna try to come in here with these gold accents. First one is, oh, I really might need the smaller paintbrush. Okay, so I'm gonna do the bigger areas first before I start going with the smaller brush. So I'm gonna do her armbands up here. I do this chest piece or the bottom, or the bottom part of the chest piece. We're almost home. We're almost home, y'all. Almost done. Thanks if you've been here the whole time. I don't know how many people have been there from the been here from the beginning because I've gone through gone from like six watchers to fifty to like six hundred back down to thirty. Um, but if you've been here for most of it or a good chunk of it, thank you so much. I do appreciate that. Yeah, I'm gonna switch out this bigger one for my really teeny tiny paintbrush this one if you can see how teeny it is so i can do her neck band shout out to the people that are on the toilet while they watch me too, 
y'all are valid. Even if I'm just sitting on the, the, the counter while you wipe your butt, you're valid. Thanks for thanks for watching. And then just whoop. Sorry if I get really silent around these tight corners. It's because I don't want to screw up. And I also say and then a lot. I just noticed. Um, yeah, don't mention that. <laughs> and then I'm also going to black uh, go in with a black outline to kind of harshen up these lines more. Because this gold paint isn't as transparent as watercolors are. Um, which I want. want that in a, in a gold paint. So I'm going to go back over it with some black lines and tighten up those corners a bit. And then do the top of her boots. Top of this one. The thing I do like about this gold is that it also allows me to cover up some of the mistakes that I made like getting color into these spots where I wanted to put the gold. And I know it looks like it's kind of blending into her skin right now, but once it like catches the light, I'm going to like um turn on the light or turn on this lamp or something and show you how it reflects in the light cuz I think it's really nice. Got on with the bottom of her little midpiece thing i don't know what this is called and i don't know the name of this style of dress with like the cloth in the middle and like the slits on both sides don't know what it's called um or what any part of it is called so if you hear me calling the back piece the middle piece the top piece is because i'm stupid Then the gold on her boots. And the heels. And the heat is in the toe. Toe of the boot. I need to hit it with a little bit more water. What is your name? I'm Wacko Melon. You can call me Wacko for short. Uh, I like going by my username online but yeah you can call me wacko wacko melon either one i don't know how people call it some people say wacko melon wacko melon um whatever uh i'm not really you know i don't have a preference on how you pronounce it because i pronounce it differently every time too <laughs> so yeah i just noticed that you couldn't see me coloring the boots probably um but here's me coloring the boot or there's the boot color if you can see it now um and then, yeah, she's got a little gold piece, a gold, goldish band. Coming down here. And then, yeah, she has earrings, but I might do that with a pen. Like, you know what? I'm going to do it with a paintbrush. Pussy. I'm sorry. I don't know where that came from. <laughs> I say Waco, LMAO. So here's the funny thing. A lot of people think the Waco. Okay, here's the, the two things that I get the most often. Um, or the three things I get the most often from the Waco or Waco in my name or whatever. Is that people think it's either Waco, Texas. Which no. Ew. Um, Waco or Wacom. Wacom as in Wacom tablet. I don't use a Wacom um blah, 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 blah. I don't use a Wacom tablet. I use my iPad. Um it's not Wacom either and it's not Wacko like crazy. It's just the it actually comes from the the first two letters in water and the first two letters in color because that's how I started out drawing was using water colors. But uh, so going by that, I guess it would be Wacko Wacko Melon because water color but like you can say it however you want i'm not gonna get like whatever about it <laughs> i don't really care but yeah that's where my username came from i don't even think people know that i don't tell anyone that at all ever <laughs> but that's where my username came from if you're curious 
which no one was no one asked me where my username came from but i told you so the 31 of you who were here for that explanation or the 30 of you that were here for that explanation now you know i'm gonna turn on this light because now i can't see what i'm doing so you're gonna see like a shadow here i'm sorry i've been wanting to prevent that that's why i like painting in the daytime um but i hope the shadow isn't too uh too distracting so I spray it down my gold paints a little bit and they come in she has um like a dangle earring on the other side of her ear but obviously i'm not gonna put that there because it's on her other ear i was debating it but i was like well then it'll be inaccurate and she just has like a billion piercings not a billion but a good amount I actually realized that I didn't put any detail into the ear at all, um, so I usually don't. But I'm gonna put put just a teensy bit. To at least show that there's an inside part to her ear, right? So while this dries, um, before I put the the final lines on i'm gonna come in with white this is the one i use i use this pintel milky pop pen um the one that i started out using this is the one that everyone starts out using i'm almost positive is this jelly roll pen i do like this jelly roll pen i still go back to it every once in a while but um like when i'm in just my all-purpose sketchbook um because it covers things like uh, markers really really well and a lot of people also start out using markers um, so that's the one that everyone uses uh, I have another one in here that I also uh, would like to recommend and uh, this uniball white pen if you're into white pens I think I might actually I think I might recommend this over this pen this milky pop pen um, but yeah these are the two pens that I recommend so there's that but I am going to be using this Pintel Milky Pop pen. I'm actually also going to see if I can cover up these marks over here. No. No, you're not going to do that. Actually, it's kind of dry. I don't know if you can see that, but it's kind of crunchy on my finger. It's kind of dry. I haven't used it in a while. There we go. It's coming out more. Kind of. Oh, it's still a bit dry. Okay, yeah. So, actually, it turns out I am going to be using this uh, this Uniball pen. Whoops. I keep knocking the the camera out of the way. Y'all have to tell me when I knock the camera out because I'm, I'm not paying attention. Um, so, I am going to be using this Uniball pen. I haven't used it this one in a while either. I'm gonna... You can even tell that the Uniball is wider on my finger because I don't know if it's because this one is drying out or because this one is just better. Um, but yeah. Oh, look at that. It's kind of, kind of doing its job. I'm gonna come in with the, that over there. Anyway, yeah, gonna go in with the eyes. I just realized I didn't color in her, her lip. Or her lips at all, because I usually do a like, pinkish color on the bottom, darker color on the top gonna do a little shine on the booba because we all love booba if you don't grow up uh, doing a bit down here and then i'm just gonna color in these marks because i just want to clean up the lines a little bit i like your drawing thank you so much thank you I appreciate that. I appreciate that a lot. I'm trying to position it so that my big freaking head isn't like right in it. Also, I'm gonna do some over here as well. Clean up the edge down here.
care of that part. And then, yeah. You know what? I'm going to do a bit on the hair, too. Even though you can just barely see it. I'm going to do some just rudimentary... Uh, some rudimentary uh, shading kind of highlights. Rudimentary, rudimentary highlights. Oh my gosh. Okay. Now I'm going to come in with a micron. A micron is not what I use to line this to begin with, but it's what I'm going to use now to fix up the line. A 0.5 micron because I think micron draws over watercolors better than the pen I was using before. So yeah, I'm just going to fix these up. Fix these lines up. Actually, I think I'm going to come in with a fatter pen than this. I'm going to use the the O2. I'm going to use the Micron O2. And then come in here and clean up these lines. Yeah, that's a bit better. Yeah! Where do you get my art supplies? So, uh, the art supplies that I use in this video... Um, most of it came from Cheap Joe's, Chief Joe's Art Supplies. I, I'm lucky enough to have one near me. Um, if you don't have one near you, you're going to have to go online for it. That's where I got the Kilimanjaro sketchbook. Um, and I got the Microns and these two pins from Cheap Joe's. Um, yeah, I got the paints from Amazon. Uh, the uh, Russian White Knights. A watercolor set I got that from Amazon someone actually gave this to me as a gift um, you can't find that at cheap Joe's not at my cheap Joe's um, most of the other paints that I got I got from cheap Joe's but not that not those um, you can however find these at just about any art supply store maybe except for this milky pop one but you can definitely find this uniball signal at a Hobby Lobby or a Michaels um, of course you can find these microns just about anywhere too um if you can't get oh well i don't i don't really know a good recommendation for this particular sketchbook i have another watercolor sketchbook but i don't like it as much as i like the sketchbook this is my first time using it but i don't like the other one as much as i like this one this is the one that i have now this kansen kansen montval um it says artist series but i feel like this is um a student grade I'm not a student grade artist anymore clearly I'm, I, I'm a professional artist but I don't like the way that the colors flow on the paper this is another iteration of the character that I did you can see that it has a lot of uh, color deposits and strange places this color goes on a lot smoother um, and I was like maybe it's just the paint that I'm using maybe it's just the paint because I don't break out my um, professional paints most of the time when I'm just doing it in a sketchbook um, but no, and then I realized it's not the paint because I remembered that on the first page, which is another iteration of this character, because her design keeps freaking changing, that, um, that I used my professional paints on this paper. Obviously, it looks a lot better than, uh, than it did on this page, of course, the colors, but it still kind of, kind of has, like, these color deposits where the color's not blending out very well, um, and it doesn't like lift very well and it just flows in kind of like the wrong places and stuff. So it is it it is the paper. The paper that you're using matters a lot. Um, if you don't really care about that and you just want to paint just to paint, then I guess I do recommend this. Um, but I, I truly do. I love this paper a lot more than I do this Canson Month Ball paper. To be fair, I've never really been a big fan of Canson itself. Like, everyone has that big blue X Canson XL sketchbook. I had that sketchbook at a point in time. Um, you grow. <laughs> you grow with preferences. Is, that's where I started out. But it's... I, d I don't like it for watercolors. I don't like it for all-purpose Um yeah, I just am not a big fan of Canson. They're cold pressed. I do have the uh, cold pressed paper. I forgot what it is at the moment. That paper is a really high quality paper. I do like that one. Um, but for like the beginner papers, uh, I'm not a huge fan of Canson or Strathmore. That's another one that a lot of people use. <laughs> I don't like it. I don't know. 
maybe if it's just I've been pampered lately with the paper that I've been using. Um, but I just, I, well, actually, no, that's a lie because I, I did use Canson same time I used, um, excuse me, Strathmore. I used Strathmore the same, uh, time I used, um, what was I just talking about? Oh my God. <laughs> what was I talking about? I, okay. I, I used Strathmore the same time I used Canson paper, um, but yeah, I was just never really a fan. Um, I do like using 100% cotton for my watercolor. Some people have a preference for a wood pulp, which is what Strathmore is, or a blend. Um, I don't. I do not. Oh, I missed a lot of comments. Hides my <laughs> kids in sketchbook. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm, I know a lot of people use it. I just, I don't. Uh, hi, P.S. Piscates. Piscates. Hi, I see you. <laughs> I see you. Um, have you ever painted in a kid's coloring book? No. But I did start out... Uh, I did start out with... Um, with Crayola watercolors. <laughs> that is where I started. So I guess I guess that might count. Where do I get my... Uh, where do I get my art supplies? I get them... Uh, the art supplies, as I was explaining earlier, that I have now. Sketchbook is from Cheap Joe's. Um, you can get these pens anywhere. Hobby Lobby, Michaels, whatever. Um, paints, I got online as a gift. These gold paints, actually, I got from Hobby Lobby. Um, and I still use these to this day. I got those billions of years ago. Um, the, I think these are actually the Hobby Lobby brand of paints. Um, and, I mean, they work fine if you don't care about the hobby lobby doing all the awful stuff they do <laughs> um but i don't shop that often at hobby lobby anymore since i found out that my city that i live in now has a cheap joe's um but yeah hobby lobby is more accessible and uh, you know i'm not gonna judge you obviously if you shop there this, which is why i'm recommending you if you don't have a cheap joe's to just go to hobby lobby or michael's or something i'm doing my two favorite things eating ramen and watching you thank you Aw, I can't believe I'm one of your favorites. I'm noticing a lot of stuff now, um, which I usually do when I'm finishing up, is that I keep forgetting to kind of, um, I just stuck my freaking finger in gold paint. Don't, uh, I just shoved my thumb in the camera. I'm sorry, that was a jump scare. <laughs> my thumb's no longer very pretty. <laughs> uh what was i talking about again oh whoops okay i'm going back in with details one more time okay please forgive me i've i'm very forgetful so i'm gonna come in with shadows on the skin i did the shadows for the dress and for the hair and everything i just completely forgot to do the shadows for the skin so now you get to have me just a bit longer than uh, what you're going to because I was about to get off. Um, so here we go. And then the shadows on the neck. Oh, that's not very dark. I wanted it to be darker than that. Boop, 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 boop. Okay. Now we're coming in with the shadows, the neck, head, eyes, anywhere that a shadow would be on a face, under the hair. Coming under the hair again. Just gonna like get this side piece kind of. I guess I'll do a little bit under the lip too. Might as well. But why not? Hi, Azzy loves dragons. Hello. Whew. Actually, I might do a little bit on the nose. I haven't done that nose darkening thing that I used to do in a while. So might as well. And then just blend it out with this brush that I just flattened with my fingers for some reason. Hi, Amy Moore. Hello. 
and then where was I going do a little bit of shadow on the boob and shadow under the hand this leg area and I'm gonna come in again with this kind of moppish brush with a pinch of water blend that out just a pinch come over here you draw so beautiful I like your drawing thank you so much you guys thank you that I'm gonna just do a general shading under the tummy or under the the piece to the tummy and then come in with a darker color just right here not too dark though blend that out and i know there's some places that i'm probably missing but at this point i'm tired of painting <laughs> not tired but i need to go get an actual meal other than supplementing a meal with cheeses And then I think the last thing I'm going to end up doing, other than like signing it and dating it, of course, is I'm going to come in and color that lip. If you notice my art, you like, you probably notice that I like doing a dark upper lip, which is exactly what I'm about to do. Here, wet my color a little bit more, and then just coloring that top lip. I could do the bottom red, uh, or like a red-ish color, but I might do that off camera since I am getting a bit hungry. Do this very, very carefully. One mistake and your lip will look crazy. Oh my gosh, remember I just said one misstep and your lip will look crazy? Well, guess what I just did? Made a mistake. Told you you never listened to me. Well... If you care so much, why don't you buy me dinner? Huh? Mm, buy me dinner. I'm just kidding. Don't buy me dinner. That was a joke. Ugh. I'm not making this better. In fact, I might be making it worse. Oh my god. I should have stopped while I was ahead. Oh my god, and it had to be with the color black too that I mess up with. And yeah. You know what? Whatever. I'll fix it. Yeah, I think that's where I might stop for today. Just gonna sign up and date it at the bottom. What's today? What's today's date? Someone in the comments. What's today's date? How long did it take you to make that? Uh, whoops. Um, mm, maybe about two hours. Uh, maybe a bit over two hours if you consider the lining and like the sketching and the lining. So maybe like two, two and a half hours. Thank you. Thank you for the date, guys. I appreciate it. Sorry I yelled at you to give me the date. <laughs> two, five, twenty, twenty-two. Okay. So thank you guys for coming along with me to finish this painting. This is the finished product. And yeah, thank you guys for coming along with me. Hello. Hello, your BF likes me better. Um, but the stream is about to end. I'm sorry, you just caught the end of the stream. <laughs> 
I'm so sorry. Don't leave. Aww. I'm glad you like the stream. Genuinely, I am very glad. So that is a uh, incentive for me to come back and stream again sometime uh, later on this week or at the beginning of the week. Um, this is a secret, um, but she is she's a model. I guess I can show you guys her her model or uh, what this character is going to be since no one wants me to leave in the comments. <laughs> so. Let's switch over. Take my sketchbook out of the way and show you guys my iPad. Or the drawing that's on my iPad. Toss this out of the way. Fun fact, uh, because I couldn't uh, look at my phone for, for most of the time, I just logged in on a different account and was streaming. So that's the stream that you guys are getting right now. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> I am going to consume food. Wait, hold on. I need to. <laughs> I need to go into my my stuff before I uh, <laughs> before I put it on TikTok before I get banned. Hee <laughs> hee. Don't tell anyone though. Okay. This is the character. You can see that her colors are obviously a lot more vibrant on camera. So this is her. I drew her when last night, night before, been working on her and her character sheet looks the same from the back. She just has a gem at the bottom. So yeah, that's her. Oh, actually, I think. Uh, because I draw sus stuff. I do not draw stuff that is acceptable for TikTok. Um, so thank you guys for uh, coming on this journey with me. I think I hear people coming home, so it's time for me to get off anyway. But yeah, this is the finished drawing. Hope you guys like it, and thanks for coming. Bye, guys. Bye, Emmy Moore. Bye, CC Lope123. Bye, uh... Her hair... I didn't mean for her hair to be yellow. I accidentally colored it when I was, wasn't, wasn't supposed to color it in. Um... By the girl with the best name, by Comics for Breakfast. Thank you so much, Aspen, for uh, helping me moderate. Um, and yeah, bye, guys. Go on, get out. Go, go, go.